it, friends. It's May the 4th. Well, maybe it isn't when you're watching this, but it is when I made it. And I absolutely love May the 4th because I love Star Wars. Star Wars is absolutely one of my favorite fandoms, and I just love so much about it. So, being I own almost every single Star Wars game there is, I thought I'd go through a bunch of them. Maybe not every single one of them, but absolutely a bunch of them, and just get up to shenanigans. So here's a collection of a few of those. I hope you enjoy. No wonder the Republic is having such a hard time winning this war. They're not doing anything. What are we doing just wandering around the ship? There's Master Yoda, one of the most powerful force users of the entire galaxy. And what is he doing? Slowly wandering the hangar. For any discernible purpose? Nope, not a one that I can see. Yoda! Yoda, please! See, 3 pos moving faster than you. Or at least the same pace, which is bad enough. Come on, Yoda. Work with me. Please. Oh, yes, my favorite character. Sinovo... Sinovo... Sionover Bowl. Yep, my absolute favorite character. Always a classic. I just love this game for its many classic characters. I mean, who can ever forget Senator Karras himself? What a lad. Didn't his one role be that he died, like, immediately in the episode he showed up in? But still, it was a significant death. Or the Lerman Villager. What a classic. I love my lemur folk. Truly, nothing beats the Clone Wars lineup. Why is there a timer? I need to know why there's a timer. What? What is it counting down to? What happens at the end of those 15 minutes? Obviously, I lose if I don't beat this whole battle in 15 minutes. But what happens? Is that just the end of the episode? Don't I normally get like 20 minutes for per episode? Where'd the rest of the time go? Is it just going to focus on R2 and C-3PO shenanigans? Or does Dave Filoni have a really, really inspirational quote that he needs to last the entire intro for? Oh no, I just beat the battle with seven minutes left. What are we going to do with the rest of the episode? Uh, somebody, somebody cut to R2 and C-3PO or Jar Jar. We just got to fill the rest with filler or something. Palpatine. Palpatine, it's not working. Wow, just one shot at Palpatine. Did, did, Luke, why even bother with a lightsaber? Clearly the blaster is superior. I just killed the chosen one like he was nothing. Did nobody ever try this? Did nobody ever try this? Did nobody ever just stand out of reach and blast these guys from afar? Because it's proving to be extremely effective. It even works on freaking Darth Vader. I think I just, I think I'm the chosen one. Forget everybody else. Well, scratch that, I guess I'm not the chosen one. And I lost to a guy who immediately ran into a corner and started glitching into a wall. That's, that's embarrassing. You know, I'm learning a lot of enlightening things. I just killed a Saj Ventress with a force ball. A, literally just a ball made out of force. And while that's weird enough as is, I, in Darth Maul, okay, I've killed Darth Maul and Asajj Ventress with a force ball, which I didn't even know was a thing. But why did nobody ever try that before? Kid Fisto, are you just the most overpowered character of all? I, I just, I think I just killed Yoda as well. So, you know, like, it's a double-edged sword. And I just killed Han Solo too. Nobody, nobody should trust me with this thing after all. My bad, I understand, it's too powerful for to anybody to use. It's just way too powerful. Is that, is, is that Mace Windu and Palpatine? And is the Emperor staring at me? The Emperor is staring at me. I feel deeply threatened, but I can't do anything about it. I think he's just jealous of how high I am. The high ground's mine, old man. Oh, he's fighting Han Solo? And ha Han Solo won. What, what did we say? The blaster really is the best weapon of all, other than, of course, the high ground, which is mine. I instantly regret showing up here as an Ewok, but I managed to beat the entire Empire as an Ewok. Surely I can beat freaking General Grievous. He just got a nasty cough. He's mostly already destroyed as is. I can take him if he would just kindly leave me alone and focus on Obi-Wan. What's the point of bringing Kenobi if everybody doesn't focus on trying to kill him? I don't want to die. Please, just leave me alone. I, I would rather fall to my death than die by you. Ah, there we go. Oh my god, I'm back. Oh, but look, that worked. It did it. it. It just required that I die for it, like a martyr, but it did it. I got him. One damage out of, uh, one, two, three. That's too many hearts to count. I'm gonna just guess ten. I, I'm on my way. Oh god, they immediately threw me into the deep end. I wasn't ready for this. Run, move those short little legs, move it. Come on, come on, I can do this, I can do this. Keep up with Luke, he's just a Jedi master. I'm freaking wicked. Okay, now I'm just a regular Ewok, but I can do this. I don't have time to switch. I'm gonna die if I switch. I just gotta make it. I'm all, oh, I almost made it that time. All right, any day. Okay, now I got this. All the rest of you are way too easy to survive as. I only survive as the Ewok. I'm a challenge gamer. I can do this. Come on. 
Come on, jump. Jump, we're making it. We're gonna make it this time. We're gonna make it this time. And I'm dead. Okay. This is, uh, this is not working. I, I'm gonna have to try something different. Master Luke? Master Luke, please wait for me. Please? Please come back? You wouldn't abandon me, would you? Okay, good. We're back, Master Luke. This time I'm sure you won't leave me, right? We've been through so much together. I, oh god. Master Luke, I am the last connection to your family. Other than R2, but screw him, he's not here. I need your help, please. <sighs> Master Luke, please. I implore you, I'm going to die. Help me out, do not abandon me. Wow, just wow. Wait a second, TC14? No wonder he was abandoning me. I'm not C3PO. And I only have R4 instead of R2? These are not the versions that would make Luke stay for me. All right, you know what? I, never mind. I don't blame him for leaving me to my horribly cruel death. I think it's time to play the most iconic duo in all of Star Wars. You know who I mean. Exactly. Watto and Boy Anakin. Is there a more iconic duo? I think not. Just the two of them together? Look at that. Wow. What a team. What a team. Neither of them are effective in a fight at all whatsoever. But hey, you know, it's, it's the personal bonds that really bring them together. Now, if only Anakin would stop running away, that, that would make it all the better. But no relationship's perfect. Huh? Are, are you kidding me, Watto? What's the point of those wings if you can't fly? If you fall immediately? Little boy Annie, I'm counting on you to make this jump. Wow. Okay. Anakin? What is the point of you? What is the point of feeding you, taking care of you, and doing all that, and keeping you around, if you can't throw yourself to your death in a way that benefits me? Okay, now we're talking. Now we're making progress. I don't need a gun when my sheer presence breaks people. God, my power is unlimited. Except for you, apparently. You're, you're immune, but what about you? Nope, you're not. And neither are you, are you? Yes, my power is just beyond you all. Okay, the power up wore off. Never mind. I regret everything. I'm back to being useless. All right, Anakin, be less useless. Be the proper human shield I need you to be. You're worthless on the jump, but if I'm going to keep you, then you're going to be a good human shield. It's flying by you. What is the point of you? What is the point of your... And I'm dead. All right, Anakin, I am pawning you off on the first person we meet. First chance I get. Oh my God, look how cute he is. He's so adorable. This is just perfection. I, there's only one way to make this better. Always two there are, right? Two beings of just pure perfection. Look how cute they are. I probably shouldn't talk about these this grown old man alien this way, but I'm sorry. He's just adorable in Lego form. Sue me. Please don't sue me. Oh my god, that's the biggest stud I've ever seen. It's so gorgeous. Oh, this is beautiful. This is what joy feels like. I know nothing, no level of happiness or dopamine can ever outrank this. Greed really is good. And look at that. What, 50, 60 years later and the greatest duel that ever existed is back again? That, that's a reunion to look forward to. Are you kidding me? The very first battle of the war. The absolute first battle of the entire Clone Wars. And I'm the first clone to get killed? This... This just won't do. Just give me a second. I gotta fix this. All right, now that I've restarted the battle, let's see. Where's one? You'll do. All right, come here, come here, come here. Yes, okay. I'm sorry about this, but I will not be the very first clone to die. I just, I just have to make sure there's at least, what, three of you. There. Three clones have died before me. I'm good now. I can take this. I don't even have to die, in fact. Maybe if, all right. Number six. I was the sixth clone to die. I can accept that. I'm good. Did that Gene Ocean just roll? I thought we couldn't roll. And I still can't roll. I don't know how to roll, but this this will do. This, this I think, works. He's actually having a harder time killing me. My shooting's not improving, and I'm not killing anyone. But nobody can hit me. God, I'm an awful shot. If we're going to win this, my best chance is just to protect Mace Windu. And not shoot Mace Windu, protect Mace Windu. I certainly am glad that we all look alike. Hopefully he doesn't figure out that was me. Oh my god, the Rancor. I am such a big fan. You, you the way you eat people, yes, exactly, just like this. The way you eat people is so amazing. Oh god, I'm getting eaten by the Rancor. What an honor. I have truly lived. 
and died. Oh yes, all the classics, the Zabrak, the Twi'lek, the Rodian, the Keldor, the human. But strangely, only one of each gender, except for the human. Usually there's like a Zabrak male and female, Keldor male and female, but no, no. Jedi Academy says you get one of one. That's it, make your call. I'm not sure what they were thinking there, nor am I quite sure what they were thinking when they decided to keep rotating the camera no matter what. They gave me all these cool design choices, wonderful, but I can't actually look at them very well if it just keeps rotating. Maybe give me control of the camera so I can do that. I don't know why I'm arguing with a game this old, but I wasn't a YouTuber then, so I'm taking the chance I can now. Thanks, Jaden. Let's get to the temple. Okay, I admit, killing him, not my smartest move, but frankly, he was really getting up into my business earlier, randomly. He was moving hard into my personal space. I just figure one or two murders might teach him a lesson. Well, that's karma for you. I guess, I guess I deserve that. But to die on my first mission to a tree, I suppose that's better than dying on my 10th mission to a tree, but still. These helmets make good target practice, eh, Jaden? Okay, false. Friends is pushing it. More like annoying acquaintance. Oh my god, did that really just happen? Did, did he just die by touching water? I have to test this out. Alright, big boy, you can do it. Come to the water. I know you want to kill me. Come eat me. I, it's, I'm just a little soggy. Nothing to be scared of. And he died immediately. Just on, on the barest contact. Just the teensiest touch of water and he dies. You know how much trouble this creature has given me and he dies on water? And the, the other creatures don't even know what to do. But I'm as shocked as you are, man. Did he just die too? I think that rat, yep. Yep. The little scaz creatures went into the water too. This is amazing. I, I need to market this somehow. I need to just carry a water gun wherever I go and I'll be fine. Just have to say, the beard works for you, so... Oh, no. Please, immediately, no. No to that. Bad. Yes, that is good. That is so much better. Never, never shave, Cal. Wow. So this is what Mom meant when she said we have General Grievous at home. It really is better than expected. Just know, no matter how cool you get, you'll never be as cool as Darth Maul riding a gonk with a mustache and monocle. It's just, this is peak. It just goes to show, even a Sith Lord needs a break in the oil bath with the bros every now and then. On a diplomatic mission to... Oh, who am I kidding? Down with the Empire! An empire full of gonks. On a monocled mustache gonk. Is there any greater empire in the galaxy? I think not. While I do like my name Shenanagoon, it can be a bit long to type full in, so I'm good with just staying as she. It captures the same essence. Oh my, when they said the beginning, they really meant the very, very beginning. Can I just play the whole game like this? I'm pretty sure I can take the entire droid army just like this with my horrifying purple arms. Oh my god, you're an ugly kid. Please, never look at me again. Oh, you're terrifying too. Oh, wait a second. We're all clones. No. I'm I'm sure I'm the exception though. I I'm I'm absolutely the exception to this. Okay, now that we're actually going to war, can I not go? I did not sign up for this. This is slavery. This is not just slavery. I am 10 years old, people. I'm just 10 years old. I'm not ready for this. What 10 year old is ready for war? I mean, too many of them have to go anyways, but I did not ask for this. Please, fix her, fix her. No, you've been indoctrinated. You've been brainwashed. Don't make me go out there. All right, first mission in and my entire team is already down. This is not looking good. I do not want to die to you guys, but I have knife. Knife will carry me through. Knife carries me through everything. Knife is good. Please, knife, don't go away. Don't abandon me like they have. I will also use explosives. I will blow us all up, and then everything will be okay when we're all blown up. Yes, everything will be okay then. This is why you don't send 10 year olds to war. It's a simple, simple rule. The fight we've all been waiting for. Ben Kenobi versus 
Obi-Wan Kenobi, who will win, father or son? They are father and son, right? I gathered that from the movies. I'm, I'm pretty sure they have different names, but the same last name. Definitely father and son. But it looks like Papa's going to win this one. All right, get ready. It's time for a pro gamer move. He's not going to expect this one. Submit to immediate death. Look at that. Oh, look at that. One with the force. I'm floating. That is the power of the force right there. Never saw it coming. Boom. Oh my god, I was just trying to force choke him. I didn't mean to put my entire arm through his body. That's brutal even for Vader. Okay, if anyone at Disney or Star Wars or wherever is watching, this is the fight we'd all love to see. At least me personally, and I think a lot of other people would too. Mace Windu versus Vader. Come on, easy money. I know he's alive. I know he's out there. Just, just please. Vader, Mace Windu, please. Not everyone is suited for the Stormtrooper program, it seems. Why, why did you fall over? Why? Buddy, that's a tree. It's a tree. Is your helmet that blinding? Please. This is for your, this is for you. I just gave mercy to that man. I hope you guys know that. That was a mercy. Oh, wonderful. I spend, what? 12 years training in secret? A decade, a decade training in secret to be the ultimate Sith apprentice. And I die in five minutes on my very first mission. Huh. Yeah, that seems about right. Hold on a moment, you can block? I've beaten this game multiple times, and honestly, I don't remember that you could block. Well, this is a game changer. Nope, my mistake. Same game, same game. If this wasn't so terrifying, it would undoubtedly be one of the coolest things I've ever seen. You know what? Scratch that. It is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Even though, I, yep, I definitely just smashed it in that ground unnecessarily. Still, incredibly cool. You gotta give Force Unleashed one thing or two. Spectacle. It really has so much spectacle. I love that the answer to every problem in this game is just push. Push them all. Just push everything. Push everyone. It would make life a lot simpler if this was normally the answer. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Maybe he's onto something. You know, who knew sword fights in Star Wars could be so awkward? We're both missing every strike we take, and his buddy over there is missing every blast he takes, and I'm still in my pajamas. I don't have to be. I just chose to be. If these duels are going to be awkward either way, why make them any less awkward by wearing something appropriate? You know, I never realized until now, watching these two fight, just how many kicks are thrown out in a lightsaber battle. You think throwing out a whole limb in a lightsaber battle is pretty dangerous. But when I think about it with Star Wars, people are losing their limbs left and right. Usually hands though. I don't know why nobody ever chops off a leg. Forgive me for trying to loot her body, but are you telling me her lightsaber's just gone? What, did it become one with the force and she didn't? I'd very much appreciate having it, and I think she'd want me to have it. You know, because I'm in a life or death situation? No? Not gonna happen? Well, that really sucks. So you're telling me that empathy is a feat that I can learn. Empathy. I can choose between empathy or, let's say, the ability to commit a critical strike on somebody. Why is empathy not something you just naturally have? I guess a lot of people don't, but still. All right, well, I guess I'm really given a hard choice then. Empathy or the ability to commit a critical strike? Empathy, critical strike. I think I'm gonna have to actually be a good guy for once and choose empathy. This is just too sad. When I learned I was gonna play as Mace Windu with Luminara, I really thought it would be something else than this. I thought, you know, I would have my lightsaber, that I wouldn't be in a tank. Honestly, I actually like this though. This is a pretty fun way to go about it. Except for freaking Luminara, always getting in my way and trying to die. <laughs> Kidding me, Luminara. I was so close. Why do I have to stop because of you? The other Jedi still need me. What about letting go of attachments? Let me move on without Luminara. Why does she have to survive? So help me, Luminara. If you die again, I will never, ever talk to you again. I promise you that. Oh, right away, no. No, why can't I move around right? This camera, this camera's awful. This is the worst camera in existence. 
I I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Put me back in the tank, please. I really thought it'd be really cool to play Mace Windu. I, I was wrong, evidently. I didn't think they could mess that up, but I was wrong. You know what? I'm not even mad if you guys kill me. It's okay if you guys kill me. Just please put me out of my misery, whatever it takes. I do not know. I was removed from the events of the world as I slept. Yeah, lady, that's how sleep normally works. You're normally removed from the events of the world. You did put it quite poetically, I'll give you that. It is normal, though. I gained light side points already? It was just a conversation. All I did was not say something rude. I didn't even say something particularly nice. It was just, don't be rude. Is that the essence of light side now? Huh, I guess we should all learn a lesson from this. I think this right here sums up my existence. My entire life summed up right here. Punching and kicking a door that won't open for anything else but a specific tool. But will that stop me from trying this particular method? Nope. Won't stop me at all. Even though I know it won't work. Even though I know it's completely foolish and stupid. I'm still going to do it. It's just... It's who I am. I think that's also what stupidity is. But hey. Elon Mac, eh? The name sounds familiar. You can't fool me. That's Elon Musk, isn't it? That's his real form, is it? Good to know. I'll, I'll, I'll be filing this away. I hate it. I hate him so much. Look at that. We are all worse off for looking at this. All our lives could have been better without seeing this. But now I've suffered and now you have. Chosen one, he might be. Bring balance to the galaxy, he just might. But frankly, I can't stand even looking at him. This is so much faster than I expected. Oh God, I'm gonna die. Wow, I just, I just died. I'm, apparently no one's safe. I thought being a child would at least keep me protected. I thought being the chosen one would keep me protected, but I guess not. This is going way too fast. This seems extremely dangerous and I feel like I'm going to die. I, I don't think anyone should be doing this sport, frankly. And I think his mother's irresponsible for letting him to do it. And I'm filing a report. Just saying, Qui-Gon. Padme was right. This is a bit of a jerkish move to allow this. I had absolutely zero clue what I was doing that entire race. Zero clue. And I came in first. I mean, look, I'm not the only one who's shocked. Bullseye Navior, he's clearly as shocked as I am. I don't know, man. I don't know how I did it. You know, I was hoping for some fun footage of Star Wars Squadrons, but I have zero clue what I'm doing. Absolutely zero clue. This is my first time, man. Please. Have some mercy on me. I just crashed into my friend. I'm really sorry about that. I don't know what's happening. I have no idea what I'm doing. I promise you, I wish I knew what I was doing as much as you wish I knew what I was doing. I probably wish it even more so. Maybe, just maybe, the force willing, someday I will be. Unlikely though. You're just another target. I just need it to be understood. As a person who's played this game so much, that that emote, that sass, that level of just, you're just another target. I, I just love it. It lives in my brain at all times. At all times, it lives there. When you think we're having a serious, important, really heart to heart, that's what's going on in my brain. I just want to make that clear. You know, I've only been waiting for about three minutes for a match. Just three minutes, which in the grand scheme of things isn't too long. But as a gamer who's waiting to load into something, it's agony. It's been years. I I've watched my family fade away. I've watched lives get ruined. I've lost all these precious years. And I'll never get them back. Ever. Ah, but I'll get a game sooner or later. Oh yeah, I've missed this. I have missed getting absolutely destroyed like this. There's nothing like trying to jetpack fight BB-8 in the sands of Chaku while everything goes to hell. This is what living feels like. No, 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 no. Don't leave me behind. Please, I'm the emperor. Everything should be about me in the first place. Oh Lord, not again, not again, not again. All my power, all my power. And I'm having to use every last bit of it just to finish off one little rolly boy. Stay still, please. Shoot, no, 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 not again, please, every single time. Please, no, not again. Oh, 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 God, I almost made it. I really should just not be allowed any high places. The high ground literally is my greatest weakness. Hey, 
Third place. I'll take it. It's been a long time since I last played. I'll just take what I can get. Okay, I feel like I, uh, can you please move, sir? I feel like I really should have messed up there. Really shouldn't shoot Darth Maul in the face and then not finish the job? Because, you know, he's Darth Maul and he tends to kill you when these kind of things happen. Not my brightest move. Why is this Iden not moving? I'm gonna take what I can get. Iden, you've been shot. Okay, that Iden Verzio just got shot in the head four times in a row. They, they had their chance, frankly. Survival instincts just weren't there. That's not my bad. Oh my god, I came to the wrong neighborhood. Anakin, Yoda, Luke, Obi-Wan, Lando Calrissian. I don't know what he's doing here, but absolutely everybody is here, and they're all trying to kill me. Please, just let me go. I was just a cyborg with sabers. I didn't deserve this. Okay, well, in retrospect, I absolutely deserved it, but I don't like it. I'd rather it not happen. And there we go, friends. I think that's a great place to stop. We visited all over the galaxy in many forms over many years. And it was something else. I really actually enjoyed it. I really hope you enjoyed it too, watching it all, seeing it all, and really just feeling utterly bewildered by how insane and a little sad I am. But, you know, I think we all need to see that sometimes. Probably makes us feel better about, well, yourselves, not mine. I, I, I'm the one that you guys get to feel better about. So have an amazing day, friends. May the fourth in the force, in the farce, and all of that be with you. See you later, friends.